Hello, welcome to another more core episode. So we haven't been doing a ton of these, but I thought this would be a good time to pipe in about something I've had on my mind about Marvel Snap, which apparently everybody and their dog is playing. All my friends are playing it. I'm playing it. Um, but I'm playing it in a way that nobody else is. Let me try to explain this. For some reason, maybe you can relate to this. When a game comes out and it's just like a monster hit and everybody you know is getting into it, something clicks in my brain where I don't want to be there for that. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but anytime there's like a big, sometimes even a, a, a super positive cloud over the release of a new game or even a big negative one, like the broken mess that was Cyberpunk 2077 at the time, or this is a good example of a very positive reception of a game so far. Snap, by all accounts, is a, is a very good video game with some maybe late game troubling monetization practices, but we're not going to talk about those today. The point is, when I'm in the, the, the hype bubble portion of a release of a, of a new game, I kind of don't want to play it. At least I don't want to get hardcore about it. And I don't know why I do that. I tend to come back later when stuff has calmed down. And then I'm really open to it. So in the case of 2077, and I realize I'm not alone in coming back to it because there's been a big resurgence in that game since the anime released and also the patches have kind of gotten it to a place where it's finally, you know, a proper video game. Um, and then I beat it. I played it and beat it and loved it. Had a great time. But even when it was running fine months prior, you couldn't have begged me to because it was, I still felt like I was under that cloud of of hype. And it made me, it actively motivated me not to want to play it. I'm having the same problem with snap. It's not that snaps. A, it's not that I think it's bad at all. I think it's great, but there's something about the, the constant hubbub of it that I avoid. And this made me dig deeper into my history. I think I do this. I think I did this as a kid. I think I do this with movies you know, people freak out about some hot new thing. You got to be there day one. And I go, nah, I don't want to be there. And like, I kind of, I kind of actively push against it. And so a good example, the upcoming uh, Wakanda forever follow up to Black Panther. Very excited about that movie, but I can't bring myself to be like day one theater guy. Just can't do it. I don't know why. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know what that is. And it's only certain things. It's the ones, it's the biggest ones. It's the ones that just like are explosively huge and are just the zeitgeist to the moment and everybody's talking about it. I think Snap fits into that category. And I just, I don't know what this is. I want, I'm trying to get to the basis of the psychology behind it. And maybe some of you can shed some light on this in the comments. But what it feels like to me is I have an aversion to overpopularity. If that if that makes sense. I felt this way in high school. I didn't want to be, you know, when all the kids were wearing, you know, ACDC shirts, I didn't want to, even though I liked ACDC. I'm like, well, I'm not going to be like everybody else. Like I was just like this push to be off over here doing my thing, you know? So the minute this came out, I got very busy with a couple other completely unknown indie titles that have no notoriety whatsoever, wonderful little games, but no one knows about them. And I played those instead. Or in the AAA sense, I started playing Red Dead Redemption again because I want to finally finish that game and do a bunch of the side content, maybe even 100% that game. If it's possible, I don't even think it might be. They're still discovering new things in that game. Uh, point being, I've, I, I, I think I do this. I do this thing. And I don't know if I'm alone or if there are gamers who can relate to this. Like here's a, here's an example I know for sure. When the follow up to Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild comes out, what they, what's the new name? Uh, Link's Dirty Greasy Adventure, whatever it is. When that thing hits, the whole world's gonna install that thing on their Switch and go buy the cart, and it's gonna be a, a just a rabid oh my gosh the next Zelda game. And I'm gonna be annoyed by that, and I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I don't I, I don't know how else to, how else to put it. I'm not gonna jump right onto that bandwagon. And I don't know what that says about me. So that's all this is about today. I just wanted to throw that question out there. Are you like this at all? Can you commiserate? Am I insane? 
I don't have a problem with any of those answers as long as you can, you know, give me some reasoning behind what you have to say. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. You can also email me, Scott at, uh, Scott at frogpants.com would be fine as well. That's it for more core. We'll see you next time. Oh.